What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of My Player in Career Mode. My name is Dirty Mike and if you're new to the series, then it's all about developing your pro and taking them to greatness. In the previous installment, I had just made a move to Real Madrid, big time transfer. It's a little bit nerve wracking. And I had to make that move, I had to get out of PSG. The situation over there wasn't heading in the direction I'd like it to. We didn't qualify for the Champions League, we didn't win. League One in France. We just weren't heading down the right route. The manager was unable to convey the defensive message. We were conceding goal after goal after goal. And it was leaving me frustrated. I couldn't get things going as a striker over there. I put up decent statistics, but that's not what it's about. We're measured in wins and losses, and it had been, you know, a little bit tough. So I actually did solidify my spot in the starting lineup for the most part so far with Real Madrid. I've been very lucky. I did notice that we have Mario Balotelli on the reserves. He's on the squad. He's on the team sheet. He may be making some appearances as well as Benzema. In the last episode, a couple people commented that we're not starting our best team, and that could be true. But that does not apply to me. As long as I'm getting playing time and I'm in the regular rotation, I'm not mad. It's tough to play for Real Madrid. And the manager's praising me right now. Outstanding performance by Dirty Mike, so I'm getting confident. And we draw our first game, and unfortunately I had to sit out the derby between Barcelona just because I was tired, and they thought they'd go in a different direction, give Benzema a chance to play. Doesn't matter. Moving into the next game, I'm not expecting to play each and every week with Real Madrid just because there's so much talent on the squad. As long as we're winning, though, it'll be okay, and I'll get my numbers, I'll get my opportunities to score goals. As we head into the next match, my opponent is using a 4-3-3 formation. And so far in the My Player Career Mode, most of the teams that I have used, they struggle against attacking formations. The ball kind of jumps around in the box, and this is no different. Casillas never had a chance, easy finish. And that's what I've noticed on Legendary, is if your opponent is in an attacking formation, it's gonna be tough sometimes. And as always, I pick up an injury. I pick up a knock, I made a selfish move, and therefore I was given an injury thankfully it's not serious I hate that the subjects always say enforced break it makes me nervous like I'm gonna be out for a season or tear an ACL or something like that but I have a sprained knee Dirty Mike will be back in a couple weeks what makes this a big issue is Benzema has not had a great run of form and this gives him an opportunity to get some starting time, get some starting minutes, make a difference, get his form back on track. And Balotelli just started playing, and he's scoring goals, which is not good. I come back from the injury right away, and just in time to make an appearance in the Champions League, we're matched up against Porto. I'll tell you what, whenever I've been matched up against Porto, whether it's in the Champions League or the UEFA deal, with all sorts of different squads, it usually doesn't turn out very well. It's not in my favor. Porto has my number at this point. And it's once again because of the attacking football. They're always in a 4-3-3. And they're ready to counterattack with speed and skill. And this is no difference. They start out the game great just with an unlucky finish. But from then on, it was all about Real Madrid. I hate that the AI... I really hate that the AI does those over-the-top through balls that don't seem like they ever have a chance. That one almost went through. But we're getting it around. We're moving the ball well. We're playing like a team. But the last the last stitch finishing, we have not been clinical in the last couple games. You've seen some 0-0 results. It's not a good look. They have me in the squad to score goals. And and we gotta get something. We gotta get something in the back of the net. I think partially it's been my uh, my teammates have not been in great form. But it still comes down to me. I'm a lone striker, usually playing at the, the top of our 4-2-3-1 formation. And I'm just trying to make things happen. I'm doing a good job facilitating. I can't believe we didn't score that goal. That was for sure the 1-0. We really needed the win coming into this. It could send the message. It would allow us to maybe overtake the Champions League and be on top of the group. But it didn't happen. And now I'm back to sitting on the bench. I don't think my manager was happy with that draw. Balotelli's in the starting lineup. It's not good if you get him streaking. He's a higher overall rating than, than my player. 
and it's possible for Dirty Mike to, to switch roles really quickly. I might not be getting that much playing time, but we're back in the starting lineup, and it's time for Difference Maker Dirty Mike to come to play. There's some pressure. The team's been on my back a little bit. I haven't been scoring goals. I had that injury. Balotelli is starting to, to move into my playing time. This is not a good situation. We've got to make something happen now and get things back on track, get back to winning. First in the league is what we're striving for. Anything else would not be a success. And it's difficult to play with Cristiano Ronaldo from time to time. He takes a lot of wild shots in my player career mode. He's trying to get his stats right. And he's an explosive player in real life. One of the best of the, in the world. A lot of people believe he is the best in the world. Personally, I roll with Ronaldo over Messi, but that's just my opinion. Please don't judge me. I know a lot of people are Messi fanboys all the way. I just feel with Ronaldo's size, strength, speed, pace, ability to use both feet, the flair that he brings to the game, he's just incredible, very exceptional, but as I was stating, he does have some selfish tendencies, and I have a big question for everyone, as I score the game winner, way to go, let's make a difference here, but I do have an important question, how much playing time does Dirty Mike deserve, and what I mean by that is how much should I be playing each season with Real Madrid, or at least right now? I am the lowest rated striker that's in the rotation currently, but I've been playing well, and I just wanted to know what should I expect? Should I be upset if I'm sitting out half the games? Should I be looking to make moves in the January transfer window? If everything's going well at Real Madrid, should that be my squad? Hit me in the comment box. Let me know what you think. I'd really appreciate it. It kind of gives me a little bit of feedback on how, how everybody's feeling about this Madrid move. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's on USA. I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.